this week's must-have comics has a definite must-have comic in this haul. And it's not the one you think it is. If you want to know what it is, just keep watching. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Hello, comic collectors. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today is Comic Book Wednesday. And even though I don't do this every week, but it seems like I have lately, um, I got some books I'd like to show you that I think you should be interested in picking up. So uh, I wanted to try and put this out as early as I could, so this way I try and get people before they went to the comic book stores to save them a trip or to find out the comic was sold out. So before I show the comics, make sure you wait until the end to see who's the surprise subscriber, subscriber shout-out. If you want to be one, you just got to be a subscriber, and the more often you comment, the faster you'll get one. So if you do want one, you can also place it in the comment section. Just keep in mind I have a bunch of people that have already requested it, so maybe a little bit. So with that, that being said... Let's show the books for this week. Now, this one, I don't normally get the true believers. I mean, to, for me, reprints, I mean, especially since I have all the original ones they put out for the most part. Uh, but Thanos is really hot at this point. And uh, let me zoom in a little bit. But this is True Believers, number one, The Rebirth of Thanos. Um, I think that is the cover of issue um, Silver Surfer, issue number 34. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I mean, it's a Jim Starlin cover. Well, originally... And I always loved his artwork, and I don't think this is the same artist, but it looks fairly similar, so it looks pretty good. Uh, it was worth taking a shot on, and um, what was the price on this one? No, oh, it's a dollar, so for a dollar you can't go wrong. So, this one, I don't know if there's any significance, I just absolutely love this cover, I think this is absolutely beautiful. This is Batman issue number 45. Just to me... Um, the video is probably not going to do it justice, but that deep blue background makes this look absolutely beautiful. Uh, the artwork is amazing, almost has like a Jim Lee kind of feel to it. Just um, a beautiful cover, and I had to pick this one up. So this is Batman number 45, only $2.99, so check it out. But that is absolutely a beautiful cover. Great job with the coloring. All right, only uh, two number ones that I saw that were um, something that caught my eye. Uh, this company I've never heard of before. It's by Vault. Um, if, you, if you've ever read anything from them, please put it in the comments section. But this is Wasted Space issue number one. $3.99 price tag. Uh, it's, it looks like it's got like a kind of a 70s kind of feel to it as far as the artwork's concerned. But obviously it looks like something from outer space, especially with the word space in the name. So we'll have to see. This kind of reminds me of one of the Guardians of the Galaxy, Star-Lord. But, um, you know, it's worth a chance, especially with the number one. And if you don't like it, then you just don't continue. All right, next up is from After Aftershock. Um, they use very quality paper. Uh, this is called Her Infernal Descent, issue number one. This is the variant, so there is a regular cover and the variant. I tend to get the variants. Um, absolutely like this cover. Don't know what it's about, but, uh, guess you'll have to read it to find out. Decent looking cover and, uh, $3.99 price tag. But again, they use really good paper stock, so worth checking out. Uh, this is a book I'm sure everybody and their grandmother is going to be showing today. This is issue Amazing Spider-Man 799. That's the regular cover. And this is one of the many variants I got two of each because I have it on my pull list. Again, it's limited one, I think, per customer for the for the store that I go to. Um, the one thing I find interesting lately, and I think I know the reason behind this, is the regular issue has the better artwork than the variants. And I think from Marvel's, if you think of it from a business perspective, most people, if they have the choice to buy either the regular edition of the comic or the variant. Most people tend to buy variants. So they probably know that at this point. So they figure, you know what? We need to be able to sell these more, the regular copy. So we're going to put the better artwork on that one. So it will entice people to pick it up. And we don't have to go as crazy with the variants because we know people will buy them because they're variants. And uh, that does happen a lot. So you don't have to pay as much for the artist who's not going to have, you know, Jim Lee's status or 
you know, any of the other really popular, like Adam Hughes and Scott Campbell, and you know what I'm talking about. So I've been seeing that lately, the trend, especially with Marvel, is they're making the regular edition comic look more attractive, and the variants, you know, to me, that's it looks way too cartoonish. It doesn't look as enticing as this one. But, you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so I'll leave that up to you, but it's still a book worth getting. And this is the book that I consider must-have. Um, I want to give a shout-out to uh, one of my subscribers, Russell Hall, who messaged me about this, so thank you for that. I wouldn't have known. But this is a book you should pick up if you can. I went to the comic book store a little bit after 3 o'clock, and they were already sold out with this book. This is G.I. Joe issue number 250, where they are having the first appearance of a new Snake Eyes. And as you can see, like in typical form these days, um, it's now a female hero. So they tend to do that with everybody. So I'm waiting for the day that they just end up... Well, we won't go there. But this is a four ninety nine price tag. A little, little more expensive than normal, but it does feel a little bit thicker. Uh, it is a definite book you should pick up. Um, I don't think this is going to be something you could retire off of. But if you do get it for cover price, I'm sure if you were somebody that turns around and sells books, that um, if it becomes a popular character, this will definitely rise in value. So... In my opinion, this is a must-have. Get it while you can. Like I said, I got to my comic shop at 3 in the afternoon, and I got the last two because I had them on my pull list. It was already sold out. So those are the comics. Not a lot, but um, definitely some good ones to pick. Um, you'll notice I didn't get the um, Action Comics number 1,000. It's a seven ninety nine price tag. There's like 5,000 different variant versions of that comic. There's going to be hundreds of thousands of print runs. To me, that screams Superman number 50 in the gimmick department. I mean, I bought one of the more expensive variants that's on its way because I wanted one that's a li at least a little rarer. But I'm sure you'll see a lot of people showing all the multiple covers. If you're looking for it as a good read, then absolutely pick it up. But if you're thinking that book is going to be, you know, a financial success... Uh, you're going to be disappointed unless you can get a 9.8 or a 9.9 .9 graded rarer version of that comic. There's going to be so many of them out there. If you're looking to make money on a comic, I would, in my opinion, stay away from that one. Or maybe pick up one of them. And that's why, like I said, I, I, I got some variants that are on their way. They're the uh, Virgin covers, not the regular ones. So you won't see that here, but I'm sure you'll see it in others. And there's just it's ridiculous with the amount of variants. And most likely, there's probably not going to be anything critical that happens in that book. So, I mean, if it does, I'm glad I picked up the variants. Like I said, if you want, pick up one. I wouldn't go crazy with all the different variants. I mean, again, I, I, and I don't think it's going to be worth much. But I guess we'll have to see. So if you appreciate these kind of videos and you like them, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll do them when I can. It can't be every week, though, because I'd rather spend my money on key issues than newer books. But I'll do it every now and then because I know people enjoy it. Um, if you want to share it, that's even better. If you want to hit the uh, subscribe button, please do. But remember, you don't want to hit the person next to you because we all know that's not nice. And we want to leave the punching to our superheroes because that's how they solve problems, by punching people. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I will see you next video. And boy, she's so talented, she can walk in midair. She's not stepping on anyone.